Like, oh, she's here. Hello? Hi. Oh, my God. I cannot believe that you accepted I can't me. see your face, but we need some more light. Okay. Give me one. Real quick, one all my sanctified Christian or whatever you believe, church going cousins tonight, pray for your girl, too. Pray for me, too. So I, I ain't going to make it to the house of the Lord. But I, if, I, if you there, I'm there. So when y'all, when the, when the pastor's praying, say, Kendra G's name, hey, but it's the best light you got. Um, it might be bright. It could be my light is bright. Trying to turn my computer on. Okay. I'm sorry, I'm nervous. <laughs> okay. There we go. Um, okay. <laughs> what is what is your name? You look pretty. I love you. Thank you. Come on, I'm girl. <laughs> I love it. What's your name, honey? Shanaye. Shanaye. Yes. Oh, you got an exotic name, Shania. <laughs> I'm Nigerian, 27. Oh, hi, 27. Where are you calling me from? Boston, Massachusetts. Boston. How old are you? 27. Are you told me that. What do you do for a living? So I'm basically an assistant right now for a dentist. Okay. But I just graduated school. Okay. Um, Shania, 27. What's your, do you believe in zodiac signs? Pisces. No, I don't. Okay. Do you have kids? No, no kids. All right, let's do it. You had a body. I can't wait to do the Kendra cam again, Sean. <laughs> so this is Shania, 27, Pisces, Boston, Mass, assistant to a, a dentist. No kids. What kind of man are you looking for? Both? Um, so basically, like, this year has been kind of, like, weird, kind of, like, for me, dating. I haven't really, like, been dating this year really that much. So I want to say someone who's definitely, like, definitely God-fearing. Um, someone who's like driven, someone who's definitely a graduate of something like, you know, maybe like a doctorate, master, something of that sort. Um, someone who's definitely accomplished, has something going for themselves, has goals. And yeah. Okay. Okay. Shania. Okay. Um, what are your deal breakers? Um, liars, cheaters, anyone who... Um, I don't really want to say I don't want to date guys with kids just because I don't have kids. Um, so I guess I am open to someone who has kids. Okay. You know okay. I mean? um, does he have to look a certain way? Did I ask you that? I'm tall. So I'm 5'11". So he has to definitely be taller than me, no one shorter. Okay. Um, does he have to make a certain amount of money? I would say definitely like in the hundred thousands at least. Ooh, at least? Um, at <laughs> least, yes. Ooh, yeah. Um, yeah, just because, like, I think that this year just alone, like, seeing just, like, has everything has, you know, been going on. Like, I've made a lot of money myself as well. Um, I recently just graduated my master's degree in business. I graduated a dual master's degree, MBA, as well as my MSBA. So I think, like, for me now, like, I kind of know what type of guys I'm going for and what I'm not going for. So definitely $100,000. Absolutely. You, so you make $100,000? Okay. I, the moment so i own my own business can i shout it out here or no well i'm more so and you can just answer the question do you make 100k no so not 100k but i do make at so this year at least eighty thousand dollars so far okay so but the guy has to make at least 100k not oh, what absolutely you make. yes so you yes. want to date a man that made what you make no I, i'm going to date a man that makes way more than what i make Woo! nothing more that than, makes way more oh absolutely than what, oh absolutely okay <laughs> So now I said, don't play with her. I'm assuming you date men that make a certain oh, yes. money. Oh, absolutely. So what's going on with those guys? Um, so I just, so I date, like, older guys. Um, just, I don't kind of want to put myself out there right now. <laughs> um, but yeah, like, I date, like, older guys, kind of like guys older than me. So um, definitely accomplished, more like doctors, lawyers, um, that kind of career. So what's going on with those guys? Are you taking them, are they taking you serious? Are you taking um, them serious? Um, I think just, like, I wasn't really ready. Like, they wanted to have kids. I just wasn't really ready at the time to, like, you know, have kids. And, you know, I just wasn't ready to just, you know, kind of, it was just a like, lot for Are me. Like, I was still trying ready to. ready now? I'm ready now. Yes, I'm definitely oh. ready now. Okay. I just graduated in May. So I'm definitely so ready now. Have babies and all those yes. things. Yes. Okay. Definitely. Okay. Um, let's do the kids you can. Okay. Someone said you're a side chick. Oh my God, what is wrong with these people? <laughs> well, those men you were dating, were you in a relationship? Yeah. They just dated. It's like we were in relationships. Actually. So I was dating a dentist for about four years. Okay. But for me, it just I just wasn't ready for what he was ready for. That's pretty much it. Let's do the Kendra can. Uh, 
Okay. Oh, yeah. I am going out tonight with a friend, okay. so. Ooh, you look good. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Woo, where the hell are you going, girl? Girl, you really going out. Where are you going? Where I'm are you going out from to Boston? Club it ain't cold friends. in Boston. Huh? Is that cold? Yeah, it is cold in Boston. Yes, it is. Where are you going? To a party? Where? No, it's like a club down here. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I don't want to um, stay down here. I don't know if anyone is from my hometown or anything like that. So. Uh, so someone said a man should be. Oh, let me respond to this. Let me tell you something, cause I, I, I'm about to. Well, I'm, I'm, once I'm done with this, I'm gonna cuss somebody out in the comment section. Thanks. Here's the deal, ladies. Everybody keeps saying what a man should be. There are men out here who are providers. The question is, do we want to provide for your ass? That's the exactly. question that you really have to answer. The man that you are designing your head, he actually does exist. He is. He's inhaling and exhaling. That ain't the issue. The issue is, do he want your ass? Preach. And that Absolutely. is the lesson for 2024, because I'm tired of y'all telling me what men should do. And I personally believe life is not one size fit all. There's some men. I know all types of relationships, dynamics. I know some when the men provide. I know some when they go 50-50. I know some when the woman makes more money. And all the ones I just said, they are happy in their own dynamic. But... Listen, I can tell by the way you're talking, Shania, you are a woman who tracks these type of men. So that's why it's a non-negotiable to you because, and I do stand by this too, if you got three options that are trying to pursue you of all that you want, right? A man that makes over six figures, over six feet, and is attractive. If you have three different men who's trying to pursue you, then yes, that's the guy that should be your standard because if one don't act right, you got two other men to choose from. A lot of times y'all don't got one man that's trying to pursue you. Then you get mad at me for telling you, do you want to wait for the for Casper, the friendly ghost, for your whole entire life? Or do you want to talk to the man that wants to talk to you? Exactly. That's what it comes down to. But back to you, Shania. I'm reading like a lot of these comments. They're just so rude. First of all, first of all, honey, I wanted to say this. People think that they can just push their, you know, their lifestyle on you. I have a certain lifestyle. I have things that I've accomplished. I'm sorry if you have nothing going for yourself. I have businesses going for myself as well. So if I'm looking for a certain type of man or a certain type of caliber, that's me. Don't be upset because, you know, the men don't want you. It's okay. But don't try to push your, you know, agenda or whatever the case might be on someone else. These people are ridiculous. And there you have it. Okay. Yes. Um... When was your last relationship, sh um, relationship, Shania? Um, so last relationship, so it's kind of like in and out of it. I want to say about um six months. Okay, you don't have to answer, but I'm gonna ask. When's the last time you was intimate with someone? I'm gonna say I'm not gonna answer that. Okay, three flaws you have to work on. I would say definitely, um, attentiveness, being more, um. I don't know, being more punctual as well. And honestly, like, just, like I said, like, you know, just wanting to be, like, more attentive. Just, that's it. I don't okay. really know at the moment. Okay. Yeah. And why would a guy be lucky to be with you? Um, Because I think that just, like, me as a person, like, I'm just the whole package, honestly. Just, I think, just, like, when you get to know me, you'll just kind of, you know, get to know more about me as well, so... Mm -hmm. And there you have it. It's Shania 27, Pisces, Boston Mass, assistant to a dentist. No kids. Let's do it, boo. How can the guy reach out to you? So you can reach out to me on my, my real page. Um, or you can reach out to me on my real page, the name. Let me see what's my Instagram. Oh, I, I think I have it. It's, it's Chastity Carter. That's my, this is a fake Instagram. Oh, it's a fake Instagram. Yeah. Is that not, you don't want to give that one. That's the one everybody's going to follow. Um, you can use my real Instagram. That's the name C O T H E N A M S E S underscore C O. C O. Okay. Yeah. All right, Shania Boo. Thank you so much, Kendra. I appreciate you. I You're appreciate so you too, baby. Bye, baby. <laughs> Bye.